hi and welcome back to another video in today's video we are going to focus on reviewing all the stuff that was covered in week 7 of Herkirat's 0 to 1 cohort before week 7 the things that were covered was basic react hooks and creating custom hooks the how react works behind the scene reconciliation all those stuff were covered if you have not watched seen those videos then go back and see those videos first now let's focus what's next in week 7 the first thing that were covered was routing you need multi-page application right you won't be creating a single page application meaning like just one slide that's it right you won't but for that reason you need routing and what react helps us is it creates single page application that is whenever you navigate from one page to another there is no re-rendering of the whole screen it just feels like a native app that is single page application because react under the hoods removes the part of a in dom and everything it interacts with the dom it doesn't repaint each and everything if the whole screen is changing all the components changing that time it does but it does it on its own we in a html file we just have one html file with one div with the id of root that's it and then react handles all the interaction with dom and puts all the components inside that file and shows it on the display and react handles it okay so we use routing to create single page application the thing is react is just a library it doesn't have own functionality for routing so we use something called as react router dom which is an external library we use it with react library in order to perform routing in an application and create a single page application okay then we explore lazy loading so what happens is in a main application if uh, your net is slow or your website is bit heavy if some components are very heavy and what happens is it takes a bit time so what you can do is you can lazy load each page if that page is required then only you load that page otherwise you don't download that page at all okay so whatever is things are required you do it at that time you don't do all the things at one time and keep it them there okay if it is required you do it otherwise you don't download it in react what happens is if this is your main component it has child components okay and this can have another child components so what happens is in react you can pass data from top to down okay from top to down you can't pass from a uh, bottom to up you can change a value over there by passing a callback but that's the thing separate thing but what happens is if a state is over here some variable is over here and it needs to be used over here then what happens is you pass it to this component this component doesn't needs it what it does it, it just passes it over here so this is prop drilling we are drilling the prop from parent component to the child then to its child where it will be used later so the thing is we are just simply passing and this is a problem why uh, state management libraries were introduced like redux and all when then redux solved this problem was it had created a separate store and every component can directly talk to the state directly you don't need to create a store over here and pass it down state over state over here and pass it down to the component where it is used and just simply uh, this component is simply taking it from the parent and passing it to the child because it doesn't need it at all so what redux said was we will create a separate store and any component can directly talk to it what we will do we will just wrap the whole application with a provider and then you can use it everywhere you want that's it and then later this thing which was there came inside react Okay, react created a context api which was a simpler version of redux then we explored recoil this is a state management library that i was telling you about redux many people loved redux in starting but we have to do a lot of work we have to write a lot of boiler code now at least with the redux toolkit the boiler code things have reduced a lot you just create a store then you create slices and then you uh, take the reducer from each slice and add it to the store 
and then you just create a provider wrap it to the application and then you can use your slice anywhere you don't have to write the older syntax you had a lot of boiler code the newer the react toolkit is better but in this cohort we explode recoil it's another state management library similar to redux it's a state management library what recoil has a concept of atom so like how we have a concept of u state state then they have a concept of called atom that's the smallest set of uh, state variable okay then you can use use recall state to get uh, similar this is this will look very similar to a u state value you have a use state call and then what you can do is it gives us two values one is the value and one is the setter value okay and you will be asking this is exactly like u state but the thing is it has a store over here and this value can be accessed by any component by any component this component also this component on this component and this component without passing it from parent to child and child and so on we have eliminated the prop drilling problem okay and this gives you this use recall state gives you value as well as the set value callback function and what use value gives you just the value not the setter function and use set recoil state just gives you the setter function and not the value and uh, you will be like you can just use this function if you need you use value and if you need this you will use this why do we need these two just the thing is this has better performance than calling this when you don't need to use the setter function and vice versa for this and then there are selectors so how we have selectors in redux there are same way selectors here where you can use this values to compute some other values you don't need to create a new atom for that but if you need to use the current atoms and compute another value then you can use recall selectors for that so this week uh, it was more about going in advance in react.js exploring the other libraries like react router dom recoil for state management and going a bit deeper creating a good applications if you are liking these videos then hit the subscribe button and more videos are yet to come and until then see you in the next one bye bye